Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching. So I just posted something on Instagram about how yoga and sports in general help me to calm my mind, to let go of my thoughts. And it kind of inspired me to just sit down and talk to you about several, several things because there are several things that are very important to me and there are things that have been difficult for me in the past. So I will talk a little bit about self-love, a little bit about having the courage to be yourself and about being highly sensitive and about how negative things affect me. I will also link the Instagram post uh, down below so that you know what I'm talking about. So if you want to know more about that, then please keep watching. So first I would like to talk about the courage being different, being the person that you want to be, that you are, and not the person that others want you to be. I have experienced the negative reactions of people to my being different even as a kid. I come from a family where my dad has a Russian background, my mom has a German background, so I've been always a little bit different because there were so many, so many different influences on my person as a kid and also I've been always very open about other cultures. I've been traveling quite a lot. I spent almost every summer, almost the entire summer in summer camps in different countries and I learned very soon to bond with people from another country. Even though I wouldn't speak the language very well, I kind of found a way to communicate with hands and feet. And since my heart was open, the heart of the other people were, was open and I could bond and I found so many friends around the world. And I could tell that um, the people that came with me from my country were kind of looking at me a little bit different. Uh, they would sometimes say mean things for no reasons and later on when I grew up I understood that they were just jealous and also that they wouldn't want me to be different than them because I wasn't the same person as they are. I did things differently and they didn't like seeing that. Later on in my life I learned that people think sometimes very limited and if someone else thinks differently without their limits, then they feel like it's some kind of an attack on their persona. And that's why they react sometimes aggressively towards you or towards the things that you're talking about. So it's not actually saying anything about you or anything about the way how you live, how you think. It's actually saying more about them. And once I understood that, it helped me immensely in my life. I will definitely be talking about this subject more in the future because for today my thoughts are kind of jumping there and back so it would not make probably a lot of sense if I would talk on for another half an hour but definitely um, my advice to anyone is if you are a little bit different in your way of thinking, if you like trying out new things and if you're a little bit more open-minded and your environment reacts angrily to it, understand that that's not saying anything about you, it's saying something about them. So you still should live the way how you like to live it and you should not stop thinking the way you're thinking because there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The thing is, people very often do not understand your reasons because they have their limitations or different way of thinking. And no matter how often you would explain to them why you're doing the things the way you're doing them or why you think about things the way you're thinking about them, they won't understand either because they can't or either because they don't want to because it would show them that maybe their way of thinking is limited and they could do something else about that but they are not ready for it and it makes them feel bad about themselves. Now about self-love just a few sentences that just jump into my mind today. So first of all, it is the most important thing for you in order to be loved also by others. Because if you do not love yourself, how are the others supposed to love you if you do not think of yourself highly? However, I understand that in many cultures, in many societies, loving yourself and being proud of yourself and accepting yourself is sometimes being seen as some kind of arrogance and people think okay if you're so happy with yourself and if you do not um, if you're not afraid of saying so well you must be super arrogant and you're not a good person but that is not true 
So loving your body the way it is, loving your hair, loving your eyes, your hands, your feet, appreciating what you are is absolutely okay. It's actually absolutely necessary and you need to learn to love your body. We are being bombed from media with pictures of models that have been photoshopped. We are being fed unrealistic images in advertisements. And somehow we are being fed the message, you're not perfect because you need this product in order to be perfect. But that's not true. But it's also very hard to resist because there is so much of it outside. And I remember when I was a kid, I never thought about, you know, do I have too much fat around my belly? Are my thighs nice? Is my hair good enough? I was just me and it wasn't until someone commented on something on me that I started thinking about am I actually pretty? Am I good enough? You know? You know where I'm going with this? So here we are again. Very often the way we think about ourselves is because of our environment and we need to start blend blending this out and we need to start uh, going inwards and learning what's inside of us, going inwards into our hearts and starting appreciating what we have, what we are. But as I said, I will talk about that more in future because I'm just not focused on one subject today and it would be either a super long video or it, would, it wouldn't make much sense, but I still wanted to talk at least a little bit about it. And the next subject I want to talk about is negativity and also uh, at the same time about being a highly sensitive person and what it does to me. So being highly sensitive means also being open to certain energies which can be really great because, as I said at the beginning, I have a very easy way of bonding with people. I can also kind of tell how people feel and I've been known in um, between my friends as a person who is really able to understand the feelings of other people and I kind of feel with them. That has a negative side also because when negative things happen in my life, they affect me much more than they would affect the average person and it can be so bad that it would even affect my mental health and as a result also, also my physical health which also happened in the past and there were several um, things in my life that I just had to stop doing or I had to change because I noticed after a while it was affecting me so much that I said you know I do not want to live like that my life quality decreased uh, because of some negative things and I had to start thinking of myself, changing things so that I come first, that I think first of my physical and mental health and live my life the way I want to and I stop justifying myself for making some de decisions because what I understand is also sometimes even if you try explaining things, people who want to be mad at you, they will, they will still be mad at you and they will still be giving you shit because of the things that you change because they just don't want you to, they just want to be mad. So yeah, so being sensitive is not always a good thing. On the other side, it has some benefits and it also helps me being super creative and feeling things to an amazing level. So it can be also a great experience. However, as I said, the negative things can affect me a lot and I've been looking for ways for years how to block that out, how to deal with that easier because I'm a person who tends to be a little bit more obsessed with thoughts than the average person. And it doesn't have to be necessarily bad because if I, if I have an idea and if I want to achieve something, I'm so obsessed with that that I most likely achieve it because I will be super focused. On the other side, when something happens in my life that is bugging me, I'm still obsessed with that and I kind of think the things over and over in my head and it just it's just daunting, it can be absolutely debilitating, it's really sometimes a horrible feeling and I hate that about myself but it is really difficult to change the person that I am because that way I would have to change the core of my person and 
I don't think that's what I should do. So instead, I've been looking for years for ways how to deal with negativity, how to blend it out, how to let go of thoughts. So here are the things that help me. First of all, sports. I have already posted on Instagram that yoga is something that helps me a lot. I practice with Kino Yoga, who is here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She is so kind and her words are always so motivating and she really helps me to let go and to focus just on my body, just on the inner Lara, you know, and that's really a great thing. The second thing that helps me is an app that I downloaded for free on my phone. It's called Relax and Sleep Well. I will link it also down below. It's by Glenn Herod, who used to be, I think he was a singer. He was in a band when he was younger and he's a um, hypnosis therapist. He's amazing. I love his voice. I love his meditations and he has so many different programs. So if you would uh, download the free app, there are four meditation programs that are enough for the beginning. They are really helpful. And whenever you feel like you need a different program, you can download something for about, I think like two and a half pounds or something like that. So in euros, I mostly paid something around three euros and I just love uh, what he has. So one of the recent um, meditation programs that I'm listening to is called Spiritual Healing. I can read you something about it. So in the description of uh, this Spiritual Healing program, it says this powerful meditation recording by a best-selling self-help author, Glenn Herod, has been designed to help you heal your spiritual energy body of imprints and blocks. Each and every one of us has an invisible energy field that surrounds us and which is alive with information. Trained visionaries, psychics and shaman can see this subtle energy field which holds lots of information about you both from this lifetime and your past lifetimes. Within this energetic field there can be blockages and imprints that hold you back and prevent you from reaching your potential. Repetitive behavior patterns that you find it hard to shake are often caused by blocks in your energy fields. By listening to this recording, you will be able to heal your energetic body of imprints from the past and clear patterns that have been with you for a lifetime. So I've been listening to this um, program now for about a month. And even though the other programs helped me a lot, I can tell that this one was definitely the right for me because I feel like since I'm so sensitive also to energies of others, I had so many blockages and Ever since I started listening to this program, I had those weird dreams when I was dealing also subconsciously with stuff that happened in my past. But uh, it weren't those dreams when you wake up and you're all sweaty and you feel bad. It were dreams, um, it was, it were, it was, is it English? These were dreams uh, that uh, helped me to solve or to kind of close the chapter of my life. And I could tell that my mental health and also my physical health improve because sometimes when there are many things that kind of keep rotating in my mind, I feel very tense, which causes stiff neck and that can cause headaches. And this is really a bad thing for me. So I could tell that this helped me a lot. So I can highly recommend this. I'm not being sponsored or anything. I'm just sharing this because I'm super impressed by the app and I'm so happy that it helped me so a lot. So I want as many people to know about this one as possible because I know that going to a therapist is very expensive and not everyone can afford it, especially if you're living on a budget. And this is really inexpensive and it is a really great way to help yourself so that you can let go of things that are preventing you from moving on, that are hurting you or doing something bad to your life. So overall, to close this video with some kind of a summary, I think it's really important to learn how to love yourself. There will be definitely more videos about that, what I do, what helped me. The next thing is you need to find your courage to be yourself because it's really not about you when people bitch about you. You know, there are so many people in the world that are bitching about me because I've made some decisions that made some people really angry, but I stand behind those decisions. I'm really happy with them. And I don't care if people understand or not because they were important for my mental and for my physical health. And that's all I care about because at the end of the day, this is your life, this is your body, your health, your mental health. And you have to start there in order to be a better person. And also, if you have some blockages, if you have some problems that are troubling you, I definitely recommend starting doing either yoga or any sport that you're having fun with. 
and definitely try at least this um, self-help from Glenn Harrods or maybe some other app that helps you to calm your mind and to release um, all the negative things so whatever works for you so that was my video for today I know it's been a little bit all over the place because my mind is today absolutely crazy jumping from one side to the other but I really wanted to sit down finally because I promised that a few weeks ago and I haven't filmed anything like that yet and I've been only posting videos about food and I know that some of you have been waiting for those videos so that's it for today so if you liked the video if it was in any way helpful for you then don't forget to give it a thumb up and you can also share it with anyone you think might benefit from this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos I would be very happy about that and you can also follow me on Instagram I will link all of my Instagram accounts down below because I write very often some motivational stuff on my Instagram account Lara Wolf Moon and I'm sharing also what I eat on Lara Eats Vegan and I have also a creative account, so you can check that out too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm glad that I could find the time to sit down and talk to you. I hope you have a wonderful day and know that you are wonderful. You are worthy of being loved and see you guys next time. Bye.